Hey guys, Dexter here from uh, Dexter's Workshop. Today I found a little bit of uh, time to experiment and continue the project that I'm working on. And we are talking about uh, that uh, um, system for uh, motorizing the, the already uh, built-in potentiometer from uh, um, guitar amps. Um, so the the travel limit sensor did not arrive yet and i've decided to to take a little bit uh, further the, the 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 experiment and project and uh, i've decided to experiment with the uh, without the um, the actual uh, sensors for uh, for the end of uh, the travel um so uh i'm going to present you what i have here what I have here, it's uh, uh, an Arduino development board uh, that uh, I've written some um, some firmware in it. Uh, this is the actual system uh, with the the micro stepper here. It's a uh, it's a very f nice uh, stepper motor, uh, 1.8 degrees. Uh, per step, um, it's only five volts um, as a supply voltage, 200 uh, milliamps per phase. I got a, um, an elastic an elastic couple here between uh, the the shaft of the motor and the 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 mock-up potentiometer that it's uh, fitted in the back of the uh, in the back of the system. Uh, what I'm going to do now, it, it also here we got the, the stepper driver and we got a, a, a 9 volts power supply. Uh, there, there was some problem with the drivers and uh, actually there is a problem with the, with the drivers because uh, I don't know, maybe I, I bought them um, with some faults or uh, uh, they this is the way they they work but uh, um when i try to to actually keep the the current to the for the for the motor at the uh, specification uh at the current specified in the data sheet uh something weird is it's happening and i'm losing torque and uh, uh i have i have actually uh two ideas one it's either the the motor it's requiring more current than uh, in the data sheet in data sheet it's specified uh, 200 milliamps and the the actual motor is taking around uh, 320 uh, we will see and uh, when i'm trying to to go down with the current uh, it's uh, actually uh, the, the the motor uh, will actually stall and uh, i'm losing all torque uh, but it's okay because i can uh, i can uh, use it i can use it at uh, 300 milliamps per phase uh with the chopper driver and uh, uh, everything will be fine because I, i'm not going to need the holding torque for the for the motor right now as as you might see everything it's uh, it's applied but the current through the motor it's actually zero because the enabled pin uh, it's uh, it's uh, um, uh, it's pulled down to to ground. So right now the mo uh, through the motor uh, uh, there is no current. So as you can see, you can you can uh, um, position it by hand, which I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to put it in an intermediate phase because uh, no sensors for the end of the travel uh, are present right now. Uh, another thing. Uh, in in the in the um, uh, controller board, there is a simple uh, uh, firmware that uh, actually is counting a hundred step to the left and a hundred step to the right, uh, with uh, some kind of delay between them. The, the software is written in C. Uh, uh, I like Arduino uh, language, but uh, some uh, some delay delays uh, will occur. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to pull up the enable pin of the motor and and as you may see there is 300 and uh, well 
335, 334. I, I was uh, actually expecting a, a little. Eh, well, it, it was stabilized on, on the way. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press reset and uh, let the, uh, the 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 firmware will will, will circle through through the uh, through the sequence. So everything uh, uh, you will see uh, what's going to happen you'll see here so let's see so I got a hundred steps to the right and a hundred steps to the left so basically what I'm doing it's I'm returning the motor in the same position I'm going to press reset again and the cycle will go over and over so as you might see, the 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 precision it's quite good. I'm using it uh, in full step mode because I don't see any reason why I should use micro step, uh, micro stepping with this. Uh, also, using it in full step mode will actually ensure me that uh, uh, there is a, a slightly less chance to to lose steps on the way. So. It's quite, it's quite easy and much safer. So the the current actually stabilized stabilized at uh, 320 24 uh, milliamps uh, at nine volts. So um, this is actually uh, according to to the spec the the uh, the the. Um, uh, resistance of the coils are according to specs. Uh, I don't know maybe the the specs are wrong a little bit because what i'm seeing here it's actually i'm seeing 320 milliamps against uh, uh 200 uh, uh, milliamps uh, and if i'm going down to uh, 200 milliamps um it's uh, the the motor will actually lose uh, all torque uh, as you might see here we have the the holding torque it's not it's not very big torque here because i really don't need it we we actually actuating only a potentiometer so you you can see it it's actually here we have some torque and when i'm i'm going to pull the pin down there is actually no torque here okay uh this is good because i can actually drive the motor uh and uh, and let the current flow through the coils uh only in the moment when i'm I want to I want to actually actuate uh, the potentiometer, uh, pull it down, and then no current will flow through the coils, which will which actually will ensure that uh, my coil coils and motor will stay cool and uh, uh, will uh, will actually have a, a very long life because there is no reason to to keep the torque uh, uh, when uh, it's uh, it's not in use. Uh, there is no, uh, there are no forces involved here. Um, nobody will actually uh, uh, go and uh, uh, and actuate it by hand. And and if they are going to do that, uh, uh, there there is only a, a simple reset, and uh, every everything will will come to normal. Uh, the 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 system will self calibrate and everything will come to normal. So there is no reason to to keep the current flowing through the coils uh, for the whole period of time. The the motor will actually get hot. The the coils uh, can can suffer from this. And I'm not using in a CNC environment. Well, you have to where you have to hold the torque and uh, all the time. I'm using it just to actuate something and then I can I can pull it off now. Uh, as the last experiment, now the current is flowing. I have torque here. Okay, reset. Bang! Working like a charm. Every every time. No losing steps. No nothing. So that's it for now, guys. I'm waiting for uh for my um for my sensors to to continue the the project and to to continue and put it in a usable form i hope i'm going to to receive them uh, somewhere around uh, for the end of next week and i'm going to keep you posted uh, this is dexter from uh, dexter's workshop uh, thank you for watching this and uh, 
Have a nice evening. Bye-bye, guys.